All right, in this video, I'm going to show you a third way to post your articles that students can read, but this time uh, the students aren't really necessarily going to be held accountable for reading. Maybe you found an article, let's say I just found this new article on llamas, and I want students just to have access to it. I don't necessarily need to hold them accountable. Uh, so what I'm going to do is it's in my week one folder, my Google Drive folder. I'm going to right click on it and I'm gonna get the link to that article. I'm gonna click copy link, click done. I'm gonna go back to my um, e-learn course and here I am, I'm still working on that week one, aren't I? Um, and then I'm gonna turn on editing. Now in this case, I'm just gonna do the same style of what I did with the Google Slides. I'm just gonna use a link uh, and an external URL. So I'm gonna add an activity or a resource and I'm just going to ex um, use this URL technique, um, optional, optional article, optional reading, uh, llamas, all right, and then I'm going to paste in llamas. I'm going to paste in that URL. I don't need to give a, de a description, and all of these things are, I can leave as the default. I'm going to click save and return, and there it is. So now I have these three styles. Now, folks, I uh, Read and reflect, so you can either, so we've got using an assignment tool to hold students accountable to the article, reading the article. That allows only one style of student response, free response. The students are able to write something on the screen and that's it. Uh, the second style of holding students accountable for reading their articles is using a lesson tool much more flexible than the assignment tool, but a little bit more complicated also. Um, in, in With the lessons, students can be asked true and false, multiple choice questions, uh, in addition to free response. So lessons are a little bit more flexible. I tend to use the lesson technique a lot to hold my students accountable. So that's the one you're gonna see in this sample course. In fact, once I'm done with this video, I'm gonna finish my sample course with a whole bunch of read and reflects using the lesson technique. But the third technique that you might use to hold, um, to provide articles for students to read without holding students accountable is just use an external link tool, the URL tool, and it just links to their Google, the article which is in the Google Drive. No need for you to upload PDFs or anything. You're just going to link. And again, I hope you're noticing uh, a lot of what we're doing is we've done all of our organization inside Google Drive and using our syllabus right here. Uh, that's doing a lot of the driving is we did a lot of our thinking in the syllabus uh, show them. There it is. We did a lot of our thinking inside the syllabus. We did our organizing inside Google Drive. And really, eLearn is just the tool for linking to those things and uh, doing the grading and holding students accountable. 